Welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Golden Era Bookworm. Today I'm going to feature a very very special magazine. In fact this is, you're looking at the collector's edition of Joe Waiter's very first magazine that he ever made. Your Physique, August 1940. If one talks about the golden era of bodybuilding then one can't really uh, not talk about the master blaster himself, Joe Wader. Just a brief introdu introduction on, about this actual edition. Um, Your Physique 1940, Volume 1, Number 1. Uh, the story goes that when Joe Wader was 17 years old, he called uh, sorry, he collected uh, the names and addresses of people from the pen pal sections of the Strength and Health magazines. And with his seven dollars, he bought and sent out 600 postcards and sold subscriptions to Your Physique at 75 cents for six bi monthly issues for that first year. With the money he received, he, treat, he uh, rented a typewriter and worked during the nights on his dining room uh, when his mother was asleep. He hand lettered and drew his own muscle man illustrations which you'll see when I go through the magazine today. And he typed 22 pages onto mimeograph stencils which he then ran off copies in a rented mimeograph machine. The cover page, which you can see right here, with Barton Ho Howarth, or yeah, Horvath, sorry, Barton Horvath, uh, was professionally printed. He hand stapled the pages and sent them out. His second issue, uh, issue was actually sent to a real typesetter and printer after more subscriptions uh, had come in. So here is the collector's edition of your physique, it's not the actual original, it, this is a second uh, reprint or I don't know if it's a second reprint but it's a reprint of the original uh, the original actually goes for quite a lot of money online but I was able to get my hands on this collector's edition um, your physique August 1940 with Barton Horvath on the cover As you can read, dedicated to the weightlifter, to the bodybuilder, and health culturist. Uh, the uh, contents, there's an editorial, I'm young at 60, vitamins for the bodybuilder, report of the American Senior Nationals, we can uh, improve our lifting and the Canadian weightlifting news at the bottom. On the cover Barton Horvath and give some of his impressive lifts there 230 press, snatch at 235 and clean jerk of 300 and there it is publisher and editor Joe Wader right there. Uh, in this uh, first issue I will explain what it's mostly about and in the next issue you're promised, uh, at least Joe Wader promises that there will be articles written by other weightlifters, etc, etc. Um, and we can already see some of Joe Wader's first hand writing, uh, sorry, his uh, hand lettering here and his images that he hand drew. The editorial. If I can zoom out again. The editorial mainly uh, focuses on the problem that Joe Wader finds with Canadian weightlifting. Joe Wader criticizes the current state of weightlifting in Canada and later in this magazine uh, aims to uh, give his ideas on how to fix this problem 
by actually um, suggesting how to improve this. Um, Young at 62, this particular article focuses on the Canadian Sando, known as Arthur Dondurand, with his I don't know if that's Joe Wader's writing or if this, or the writing of, or the signature of Arthur, but this article in particular is about someone who was known as the Canadian Sandow. He was a strongman, wrestler and weightlifter. He was criticised initially by his friends for taking up weightlifting, saying that they used to say that he would be muscle-bound and it's a common myth of back then that one would become muscle-bound and and lazy, etc. He then goes on to take with great passion to talk. Uh, sorry, to talk about with great passion about his life with weightlifting, his strength feats such as a wheel uh, wheelbarrowing, four thousand three hundred libras. That's actually at the very end of the magazine. This page was only sorry. This magazine was only uh, twenty two pages long, as I mentioned earlier. So here. I'm young at 62, he goes on to mention that he lifted and wheelbarrowed 4,000, sorry, he didn't lift, he wheelbarrowed 4,300 4, pounds. He could lift a Ford engine of 406 pounds. He could wrestle. He could, uh, he was getting paid for um, uh, muscle control uh, demonstrations. He was uh, getting paid for wrestling, etc, etc. In the end, he encourages that everyone should get into the sport of weightlifting, of course. That was the main purpose of this article. How to build a better body is the next article. And I'll just go back to that. How to build a better body. Again, hand lettering by Joe Wader and some images by Joe Wader. This is really interesting. Here, Jim Bell, the writer, explains how to gain weight and also displays, uh, uh, and, uh, sorry, and also explains how to display muscularity through the manipulation of training variables, namely the reps and the sets. Uh, low reps giving you strength and bulk, while high reps and high reps uh, sets, as we know nowadays, leads to definition. Uh, he, of course, gives a basic training plan with basic movements and addresses the importance of sleep and a good, clean diet. Interestingly, I found this was really interesting, it is also discussed that we should or strive to develop our body to the fullest extent and that our development is not limitless. However, that humans would be incapable of developing 20 inch arms. It actually says that at the very bottom here. But if we continue to add to, weight, to the weight uh, we use and do the exercises right, we will gradually increase the size of our biceps. He's talking about the bicep curl. Only, of course, to their natural extent or limit. There are numerous exercise fans who concentrate on one exercise for one part of the body, and if there were no limit to the size of, let us say, the biceps, uh, the biceps muscles, we would see some mighty 20 inch or more bicep muscles. Interesting to think that back then, uh, the thought of gaining 20 inch muscles, so it's 20 inch biceps again, is almost inconceivable. Now, of course, it's not uh, rare to see uh, bodybuilders with 20 inches or more. The next article talks about vitamins for the bodybuilder. This article's uh, serves as a basic nutrition guide and there 
that one should eat whole foods instead of candy, coffee and donuts. I also found interesting in this magazine how often I could find spelling mistakes. Such as instead of coffee, Joe Waiter types or, or whoever this is, yeah, Joe Waiter writes this, the editor. Doffy. So there were heaps of spelling mistakes and repetitions, repetitive uh, lines, and you can tell it's a first edition and done by, by a 17 year old boy. Um, also is interesting the mention of tuberculosis there and it goes to show so right there how back then of course this was written during the world war the second world war it reflects the problems the medical problems faced back then and how health uh, has changed uh, eradicating basically such diseases uh, finally towards now the end so there's also weightlifting personalities which I won't go through didn't find that very interesting we can improve our lifting was one of the articles that Joe Weta, uh kind of touched on in the, in the editorial and then continues uh, towards the end we can improve our lifting by Harvey Hill who mentions basically in the US well, the best weightlifters came together to train and suggest a club be formed in, the, in Canada to bring together all the best lifters and that this competitive nature would bring the standard up, which I don't think is necessarily a bad idea. Then we have announcements where Joe Wader asks for self-improvement pictures and stories and really interesting is the Canadian lifting news. You can actually see that Joe Wader, who apparently did really well in the weightlifting, was a man that preached and practiced what he preached. There it is, Joe Wader, from Young Studio, at a body weight of 165 pounds, pressed 190 pounds, equivalent to about 85 kilos, snatched 200 pounds, equivalent of 90 kilos, Clean and jerk 270, which is about maybe 135 or less, maybe 130, for a total of 660 pounds. So Joe Wader was, you know, not the strongest guy in the world, but he practiced what he preached, which is uh, really cool. Uh, at the end of the magazine, we can see some fine photographs, which again were professionally printed. Um, and an ad for Young Studio. The beginning of Joe Wader ads here. I take you in hand, I train you personally, I make you a finished product with a fine image of Joe Wader there, very young Joe Wader. Hope you have enjoyed this look through the Master Blasters very first magazine. There's the cover again. And, um, Please leave your comments. If you like these videos, of course, subscribe to my channel and give it a like. If you wish uh, for any specific magazine issues to be featured, please let me know and just write me. If you wish to donate magazines, because I'm still collecting, uh, please get in touch. I will be featuring many more magazines in the future, so stay tuned. From the Golden Era bo uh, Bookworm, many thanks and have a great day.